kusoo dhawaada dalmar tv ee columbus ohio dadweynaha red columbus waxaan ugu baaqaynaa in dalmar tv markasta ay u soo gudbiso ee waxyaalaha muhiimka u ah ummada ee maanta waxa ina la jooga nin lawyer ah oo lawyerinta ka shaqeeya sida loo yaqaano legal aid ee oo dadka yaga maadaama ay dhibaatooyin fara badan ee xaga guriyaha xaga immigration waxyaalo fara badan ay jiraan waxaan rabnaa maanta in lawyerkan aan wareysano oo aan ogaano waxa ay qaban karaan waxyaalaha muhiimka ah ummada ay u qaban dadka aan awoodin in ay lawyer qabsadaan awood aan u lahayn lacagaha fara badan lawyer lagu bixiyo in ay ma taqaan ay barnaamijka iska faa'iidaystaan ee Ben Hon welcome to Dalmar TV thank you Shafi nice to be with you thank you Ben Uh, can you tell us more about the entity that you work for, Legal Aid? What does it do and how will it help the new immigrants? Yeah, so uh, I work for an organization called the Legal Aid Society of Columbus. Um, we're a law firm. We offer uh, free legal assistance uh, to, to people that qualify for our services. Um, we work in the area of civil law, not criminal, but civil law. Um, so for people who are having struggles with uh, housing, uh, education, consumer, um, uh, education, did I say education already, sorry. Um, and uh, and recent, uh, family law uh, and, uh, and immigration is a new area. Um, uh, people can apply for our services and uh, hopefully we can provide assistance. Thank you, Ben. You mentioned um, it's free service. Who qualifies for this service? Um, so uh, we have um, the main qualification is is income level. So uh, people have to be at two hundred percent of the poverty level or below. Um, so that basically involves us asking you know questions about their about a household income. Um, For residents that are 60 or above, uh, those income qualifications are waived. Um, we also um, uh, we have to help. Uh, we have to know citizenship status as well. Um, so we'll ask if you're a U.S. citizen, and uh, if not, we'll ask further questions to ask to to learn about your uh, residency status um, and if there's a, a way we can assist you. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Um, waxa man ben oo maanta nala jooga oo ka socda saan idin sheegnay ee hay'adda Legal Aid Society of Columbus waa hay'ad lawyerin ah oo dadka u dooda sida badana bilaash ah markastana ah waxaan lacag laga bixin ben waxaan weydinay muxu maxagay u qabataa ama maxay qabtaan uh, Legal Aid Legal Aid waxay dadka ka caawiyaan dadka guriyaha waxaan ognahay maanta magaalada ne columbus dadka yega soomaaliyad in ay aad ugu dhibaateysan yihiin guriyasha oo markasta lagu cadibo ilmaha qofka sideeda ilmood la ugu guri helin awoodna u san u heynin inuu guri u ibsado ee guriyashina ay dhibaato yihiin ee maxay ka caawin karaan waan weydin doona su'aasha sida ay u caawinayaan iyo sida ay u caawin karaan waxyaalaha kale kamid waxa weeyaan education in xaga culunta ilmaha u baahan in ama school loo diiday ama dhibaatooyin kala haysta iyagana in uu ma taqaana ay qayb ka yihiin legal aid waxa kale oo hadda uu noo sheegay been in immigration kan ay caawiyaan qofkan awoodin in uu lawyer awoodo uu lawyer helo oo ma taqaana uu heli karo lawyer lacag laana oo legal aid ah waxaan weydinay been ya ya u qalma who qualifies for it ya u qalma marka dadka u qalma waxa way qofka inuu mareekan yahay oo citizenship kiisa uu qof mareekan yahay inuu income kiisa 200% uu ma taqaana ka yiri hay su'aal baan dib u weydin doona been been i wanna clarify to my community what does the 200% stands for and in when you say income does the person have to make a certain income level so that they can qualify for legal aid assistance Well, uh, we have okay. We have restrictions uh, because some of our money is from the federal government. We can't. Uh, we have certain uh, income restrictions. So, um, the two hundred percent is of the federal poverty level. Um, so, it basically is um, a level where we need to know how many people are in the household, and then what the household income is, 
and then it's basically a, a, a formula that lets us know um, if the person qualifies uh, or not that way. So we will have to ask anybody who applies, we've got to ask them those questions like what's your household income um, and uh, how many people are in your household. Um, we also have a question about assets. We're really, we're meant to assist people who cannot afford an attorney. Um, so we also ask about assets. So if you've got like, you know, $20,000 in the bank, we may say we can't assist you because you could afford an attorney. So, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so so that, that means that there's a certain income. If the person makes from 100000 to 60000 or there's a certain income, when you say 200%, can you clarify that more in detail? It depends, um, that's, that means that it depends what the income of that certain families is. And you calculate on basis of less than 200% or over 200%. What does the 200% mean? Um, I, don't, I don't know the numbers uh, you know, by heart, uh, but let's say 200% of the poverty level for a family of four, maybe like $25,000 a year. So if the person makes more than that, or the household has more income than that, then we may not be able to represent them. If they make that amount or less, we, we can represent them. Yeah. Does that Thank make you, sense? Ben. Or, yep. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it, there's a, we have a chart, so which has like household size, and then annual income, and you know if you're 100 percent of the poverty level, 150, 200, um, that sort of thing. So our our level is 200 percent, which is which is, allows a lot of people in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, ben Sidu Inoshage, Manta, 200% ka amalawa bukol percent ka ah, wa nidam ay diyar say federal government. Lakta ay helan wa lag ay dawla da sarika helan federal government. Lakta ay yada wa halawu talagalay, dat ka an awodin in ay lawyer qapsadan. Ma da ma qofka hadday lawatan kuno dollar ay wuchu to account ka. Da qofka su huu awoda in u lawyer قبصدو أو لاير أولا هلا ومتقا العكس سكبيحيو ليجل أيد وحلوت لك دت كان أبودين مرك دت كيجا حدي قفكو أفر متقا ناي قف أما شن قف أما لح قف أي فاميلي جا أي كمديهن دت كيجا حساب بجتا أي أشجعان أو شات وحلا هذا هدا أتكير تهاي بقولكن إلى يو متقا ناي إلى 200 بسنت أتكجادو وحكاه سيو دولة دا أي كاب بحنس ليجل أيد وحلو تهاي قف أقل ما إن وحلو قبتا Legal aid is a qualified person who is a citizen. The question is, what is the question? 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 I just want to clarify one more part. When you say citizenship, we do understand you have to be a U.S. citizen. If you are not a U.S. citizen and you qualify under the 200 level percent, how will you help such people? So... Uh, we can help people who are not U.S. citizens, um, but we have to know your residency status. So if you have a green card, um, we need, we'll just need to see a picture of that or, or, or take, a, take a picture of that and make a copy of it. Um, and there are, there are some other residency statuses. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll have to ask that question. Um, and um, if you're uh, if you're undocumented, um, there are still some questions we could ask you which would make you eligible for our services. Um, I, I don't want to get into all those details because I don't know them that well. Um, but, um, the, you know, we would welcome people to apply um, regardless of, of their status to see if we can assist them. If, they, if you need legal assistance, apply. Um, our intake staff will, you know, ask all those questions and try to, try to get you in if they can. Ben, do undocumented workers qualify for assistance in the legal aid? Undocumented immigrants, people who just came out into the border and they don't have, they are not documented. They either have status with, um, with, with the Homeland Security or whatever, or they are in a court level. He don't have indocument, but he can prove his uh, residency and says, I live with so and so. He's my uncle or my brother or whatever or my cousin or a family friend that I live with, here is my address, but he is undocumented. How will you help? Um, you're asking me questions that I, I don't know the answer to. Um, I, there, 
I will tell you we have we have rules ab about uh, residency and you know um, but I generally don't have to deal with those uh, so I don't know the answers off offhand so maybe maybe we shouldn't talk about this because I don't want to give wrong information right. I, I want to I just want to you know I would encourage you know no matter what someone's status is to apply because I know, for example, that if you're undocumented, um, but you've been the vi a victim of, of domestic violence, you know, that even though you're undocumented, you can qualify then. And there may be um, other examples of that, but I just, I, I don't know what they are offhand. Thank so, you, thank so, you, yeah. thank you, Ben. Uh, ben, what you know, Shagay? Okay, lawyer, ah, madaha, wili, repta, madaha, sarea, lawyer, inta, legal aid. What you know, Shagay? In أي متقانا دتك شرع إلى أنت غاب كمدة أي عون كران وحيك حيرن تاي قفك سيد حالة دستها هدي قفك وحتى إسقو شرع هاي سنين لكن أوي هاي قف دباتوين دومستيك فيلانس إلى ذا سيد مح متقانا لايرة هذا وكمدة هاي إن أي عون كران لجل أيد لجل أيد وحاك لو يعون كران دتك إسقو شرع هاي سن أو لكن استار سكولة ماشاء أو أدرس صحيح كرا سؤال هذا قارن وكعب صي سوبتوا أ وحال أركائن أي أي متقانا ساعة عدن سجع أي مهم وأهين أما وسنك جواب كرين مركز دتك يجا وحان رأينا نوشة غير كولومبس إن لجل أيد أي مهم ك أو مهم سو حاويان دتك دجن أو سيد بدن قرياش نبك الله هاي وحان رأينا سؤال فيديو بن بن we had issues in housing and we have seen legal aid being involved in housing, helping people, evictions, and things like that. Uh, what was it, f is there any cases that you guys took to court that was fruitful? And was there, what is, what the, what is the hardest part in housing right now when you talk about the new immigrants here in Columbus, Ohio? Well, um, I think an example of housing work we've done is um, there have been there's the uh, the Sawyer Towers case, which was um, um, basically a, a low-income housing uh, apartment complex um, that um, people had to be evacuated from on Christmas Day, um, and the city was involved with that um, in in getting the people out because it became an unsafe building, and so we worked with the city to help those tenants. Um, you know, recover, um, trying to help them recover their, their belongings um, and, um, and also be compensated for what they've gone through because they basically were told to leave their home on Christmas morning. Um, that, that, that's one example. Um, but there are a lot of examples of us, um, you know, taking action before something gets to court or it gets that bad. Um, we really want to help people who are living in poor housing conditions um, or in an unsafe uh, environment. Um, there's a, a lot we can do to uh, make sure that the tenants that are living with poor housing conditions are um, taking the right steps uh, to make sure that the landlord knows about the problems at their apartment. Um, and then if the problems aren't remedied, um, we can help with next steps, including eventually, uh, you know, starting a, a, a court case. Um, but there's a lot that leads up to that. Um, so we're, we're always happy to, um, to help individuals or groups uh, of tenants who are uh, struggling to, to get their landlord to make repairs or exterminations of pests. Thank you, Ben. Uh, ben, what you know, Shagay, in Mayala Badan, a Mahkamad Gay and Sida, Soya Tawas, Okalate. كيسس وقت هذا كريسماس كا دتك إن لقى قحية أو لقى قحية أي نقطي وحكم إذا قريها متقانا عن دتك قريها لا أي سنسمينين أو poor housing conditions معناه هذا أي تاي إن قريها مسخشة أي كوشة قينينين أو أي داقة دكات شمن تاي أو حياة بدن لقى سمينين دتك عاد أو إيمان لهيد أو أرنت كا عاون لها أديجو عن لعق بحن أديجو أقلمة وحاوية Legal Aid Society of Columbus, Ohio. بيان وحو ينو شاقي إن أي داد بدن أو متقانا سوماليات أما نيو إماغرانت أي عاويين 
او اي غرب او نوغدان او ان بدن اي محكمة دقيين كوا بدن او نوغن هاي با ان نقوها تاجرتا داد كي يغرى كولن باسو حان او باقيا ان لقل ايد اي مركز تا اوغادان حدي اد اوودين ان اد لعق لوير اساقا بحيسو اما قوريغا لو ديبا وحان اوغن هاي ديبا توين فرا بدن ان اي قوريغا هادت كوا هستان ان اد لقل ايد اد لسو حرير كتا سي اد عاويتان وحشيت ها اموسن شرعيغا ودن كبارو لسو حقوق دادنا كودا قالما last question بان is there places I can direct my communities today where you guys will always be available somewhere? I know accessing the office is also available, but is there dates and places where the community can access and go to and, you know, get legal aid help? Well, we have um, a number of clinics where we go out into the community. Um, I think we have a list of them on our website, which is... Um, www.columbuslegalaid.org. Um, we also have started some new clinics uh, within the last year or two. Um, one is at the Somali Community Association of Ohio. That's once a month. Um, we've got. Uh, is there a date for that? It's the. Uh, First of the month, second of the it's month. It's the third Wednesday of the month. Third Wednesday of every month. Every month. Yep. At 2 p.m. 2 p.m. We have no shaka ban in Hafizka Somalia, Somali Association of Ohio. A good domi Hassan Amar Uchogo in a Imadan Wednesday Casta Arba Casta or Sedahada Bisha Lavada Durimo in a Imadan. Marka Kofka Ubahan in U Hello Awitan in U Hello or Legal Aida Hale Heriro. حفيزك كوميونتي كا سوماليات كولومبس أوهايو وحان داتك وشاقة إن أي أرنتاس أوفي جوغنا دان حفيزك كوميونتي كا سوماليات ومتقانا أتقانان حسن عمر ميشي ساء وقدومية حسن عمر وحالكا شو مركز تهالكا ستاقا وحاد أدونا تان إن نيقلاع عاويو لقل عيد وحاكت بدن أيو سمين شري حسن قدومية حسن برامش كاس وونا كوما حسن يهي أنقو بهذا الدال مرتيبية وحنا لسه عنا إن وأرنتا إن بدن درك جوريها كعوية بن we appreciate your time thank you so much for visiting us on Dalmar TV we'll continue with this kind of informations where we will always share with our people and we'll continue having more you know more educational status on behalf of Dalmar thank you so much welcome to Dalmar TV thank you thank you I I appreciate this opportunity and you know, thank you for for helping us get the word out that there is help available uh, for your community. Thank you, Ben.